Hello guys and welcome to the Ligu M5 unboxing and first look. Just got this from Gearbest. It, you can pick it up for around £60. Another cheap budget phone like the Blue Bumea and the Umi London which I've had recently. So it comes in a um, pretty basic box, quite flimsy. Let's just open it up. Oh. Okay, the phone directly on top. Let's see what else is in the box very quickly. So you have your earphones, micro USB charging cable, and your charger. Quite a chunky charger. And you get a manual. And they've definitely scrimped and saved money on the box in and the packaging, but that's no big issue. Let's actually look at the phone. And a little protective cover on the front with some specs. Now it's a 2.5D bulletproof glass, apparently. Uh, I haven't got a gun or uh, any bullets to test, so I won't be taking that test today. It's a 720p Super HD screen, at 5 inches. Ultra fast fingerprint. Um, the fingerprint, interesting on a £60 phone. Let's see if that works. But it's a great feature to have on a, such a budget phone. 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigabytes of memory. So you've got 8 megapixel camera on the rear and 5 megapixel on the front. And it also says it has a bass sound system. Flip over to the back, your little speaker at the bottom, the fingerprint sensor, the rear camera and flashlight and a nice little Ligu logo on there. Let's take you around the, the side. Power button and volume button there. Headphone jack just there and nothing on that side. Micro USB port at the bottom with your microphone. Uh, at the bottom there you've got your capacitive buttons as well. Home, back and menu and I believe you have your your front facing camera at the top and proximity sensor. I think that also possibly an LED notification light. Um, the phone is quite thick. I think it's about 8.7 mil thick. Um, I mean the battery is only 2,300 milliamps so there's not like a thick big battery in there so um, I don't know but it feels really hard and tough. It feels like you want to be smacked over the head with this phone because it's quite a heavy beefy phone so but it feels really nice. Good size as well in my hand, fits nice in my hand. Quite a smooth rounded back as well. Yeah, I like it. So let's peel the front film off. Okay, so it comes with a screen protector. Okay, I've peeled that off. It's a removable back, so let's remove that. Bloody hell. It's not easy. I don't want to break the bloody thing. Jeez. Ah. I'm always bloody I'm always scared of breaking these things. Right, that's tight on. That's off. Here we have the back. We have the battery in there, which is covered. With a little sticky tape. Let's get the battery out. There we go. Stylish phone. Ligu. They've made that out 2,300 milliamp battery. I'm not expecting long usage out of that. So here we have your micro SD slot in there. And as normal, dual SIM there, micro SIM. Let's pop my SIM card in there. Okay, let's in. Let's remove this tape from the battery. Put that in. It's a snug fit for the battery. So I ain't gonna drop out like that. Very snug. That's easier to get on than it is to get off. Okay, let's turn her on. Okay, here we go. Update SIM card, yes please. 
switching data sim seems to have come with its own sort of launcher i'll definitely install google now or the nexus launcher all the apps are on these first three pages there's no app drawer so i've got some of the apps you have a little media folder google folder maps gmail youtube so it comes with that pre-installed yeah the normal security cent center let's quickly try this fingerprint add fingerprint let's have a look move your finger slightly i can feel it vibrating ever so slightly so it's taken a lot of readings from this one finger there we go fingerprint added okay let's add another one so the tip of your finger the edge of your finger i think the more variations like that the more accurate i think you're going to get the scanner okay let's add my left hand as well let's add another one on the right bit of a slow process and let's add one more on the left okay so we have five fingerprints let's go back okay let's try my left hand And feel it vibrate a little bit. That took about three, four attempts. Oh, that was immediately. Let's try again. Immediately. Okay, let's try again on my left hand. Twice. Let's see how fast. On. No. Okay, third time. Okay, that was immediately. Okay. Okay, it's not too bad actually. Okay, so the fingerprint sensor sort of works when it wants to. So it's not 100% accurate. So let's have a look at the settings. And it should be rocking Android 6, which it is. Marshmallow. Yeah. Oh. Let's try the camera very quickly. Maybe you drag up from the bottom, you get your settings normal shooting mode or capture mode let's see what you get in the settings here and so these settings are a little bit different resolution so at the top there you can just see rear camera says 8 megapixel at a ratio of 4.3 now oh you only have a ratio of 4.3 I thought it would have done a uh, 16 by 9 ratio but it doesn't seem to be the case so there seems to be no point in having, why would you have a 5 megapixel 4.3 when you can have it in 8? Let's have a look at the front camera. Okay, look, front camera, you get the option of 16.9, but you only get a 2 megapixel. That's probably not going to be great. HD rear camera, 1080p, 720 and 480. That's cool. Front camera, QCIF. Cool, let's test the camera out then. Get a little Steve here. So this is 8 megapixel. Okay, so that was the camera test. So it definitely feels like a well-built phone. It's really solid. So I wouldn't worry about dropping it unless you're dropping it from 100 feet or something like that. It does feel really nice. So I'm gonna go away and give it a good old test now. Camera, sound, gaming performance, and everything like that. Build quality is excellent, but is the performance. All right, guys, so if you found the video helpful, then please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon.